Now at 5.30, an iTeam exclusive update. Radio personality DJ Envy responding to our investigation about, about investors who say that they were conned by his business partner. Investigative reporter Sarah Wallace broke the story last night and joins us with the new details. My attorneys don't want me to speak, but I think there's things that I need to clear up a little bit. I think you should listen to your attorney. Up until today, DJ Envy has never publicly addressed the controversy surrounding his one-time business partner, Cesar Pena, on the celebrity's syndicated show, The Breakfast Club. In fact, Envy has repeatedly promoted Pena's real estate seminars and investment opportunities. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Flippin' NJ. Even as lawsuits began mounting by investors who claimed they were ripped off by Cesar for hundreds of thousands of dollars in a real estate venture involving distressed New Jersey properties. Not a word from Envy on the air until the I-Team interviewed multiple alleged victims who say they bought in because of the reputation of the radio host. DJ Envy absolutely is equally to blame. He is on a major platform, which is not only in New York, but across the United States. Envy on his show, now denying any involvement in Caesar's real estate deals. Now, Caesar, if he took money, I wasn't privy to it, nor did I even know. But for, for anybody to say I was involved, that's totally not true. And he's trying to do damage control. It was DJ Envy who personally introduced me to Caesar. Anthony Barone says he toured Patterson, New Jersey properties with Envy and Caesar, then invested $500,000 in a planned apartment project and another $300,000. I invested in Flip to Down, which was an online uh, platform for fractional shares in buildings. DJ Envy is listed as the co-founder. I'm down 800000 And you think he's responsible in some way? I think he's absolutely responsible. It's not true. Like, well, that be, that's, that's fake news. Like, well, those are fake stories. What was your reaction to DJ Envy's response? I was shocked. I was shocked, honestly. Because uh, I truly believe he knew Caesar was scamming people. Michael Ventura says he invested $200,000, his life savings in a Patterson property. As with virtually everyone we spoke with, he also heard that Envy pitch. This is unfair. It's unfair. We you know we're trying to chase the American dream, just working, you know, provide the best for our family. And then that dream is, is being crushed. Caesar declined to be interviewed on advice of his attorneys. His wife, Jennifer, promised they will make investors whole. Where's all the money? Where did all the money go? That's that's a Caesar answer for you right there. You know, there's no there's no private island. There's no there's no house in the Dominican Republic. There's no yachts. There's no fancy cars. You know, that's an answer for Caesar to, to give to you, not for me. Envy's attorney is now seeking to have all of the lawsuits against him dismissed. iHeart Media could be named in future lawsuits. Several investors telling us they believe the corporation could be held legally culpable for their star's endorsements now under scrutiny. From Tribeca, Sarah Wallace, News 4 New York.